Hi, my name is Joe and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawk Ridge Systems and today we're going to be taking a look at some tips and tricks for SOLIDWORKS inspection. So the tip I wanted to share with you today is how we create a template for SOLIDWORKS inspection so that we can go ahead and create our balloon drawings using predefined settings that we choose. So let's go ahead and see how we do that. First of all, I'm going to go up here and start a new empty project and I'm just going to pick one of these default templates from the list just out of the box at random. It really doesn't matter because what we're going to be doing is picking again a random PDF here. It doesn't matter what drawing you use. We just want to be able to get into a space where we can change the project settings. So not the software application settings but the individual settings of the project template. So as we come in here and we've chosen a template now if we go up into the drop down here for SOLIDWORKS inspection, if we take a look at Save As, we can see that there are two options. There's the Save the Inspection Project and then Save Inspe Inspection Project Template. And what we're going to do is save this as an Inspection Project Template. But first, let's go change some settings. If we go into the options here, by default, the project options for this particular uh, default uh, template is set to these settings. We see here that the border color for the balloons are red as well as the fill, the shape is a circle, the characteristic is uh, to the right of our actual balloon number and uh, we can see that the leader line is also set to red. So what if we wanted to change these? Uh, perhaps we wanted to make our font size larger than 7, we wanted to bump it up to a 10 and maybe perhaps make our balloon a little bigger to accommodate that. We'll change the font color as well to black. We can change the balloon shape maybe to diamonds. Uh, we'll change the fill color to yellow and the border color to a dark maroon. And that will go ahead and uh, change a bunch of these settings. And we'll move our characteristic from the just from the left to the upper left corner so that the balloon is sort of tagged up in the corner there. So that's all the new balloon settings that we're going to go ahead and save to this template so that the next time we want to balloon a drawing with it, these settings are automatically applied. So another thing that we could do is come up to the imaging and OCR settings and let's say that we knew that um, these particular drawings are going to be coming from Katia. So we could switch this to the Katia uh, setting so that the OCR dictionary font is trying to match up with that style of text. And then the other thing that we could do is come up here into the general settings. And for example, right now these tolerances are set kind of random. But if we wanted to, we can make this a plus or minus one for the zero precision. And then for these other ones, we'll change these to threes. So we'll make this a 0.3 and a minus 0.3, a positive 0.03 and a minus 0.03. And the bottom one here for the precision of three would be a plus 0.003 and a minus 0.003. So any dimension uh, that's on our drawing that does not have a defined tolerance will inherit these values instead as the defaults. So go ahead and say OK to all of those settings. And just to prove a point, if we come in here to our drawing, we can grab our balloon tool, dimension one of these, and see how it inherits the default settings for the balloons that we just applied. Likewise, if I go ahead and dimension this radius value over here, it doesn't have a defined tolerance dimension. Uh, we can see here that the tolerance that we specify, the 0 0.003 and the minus 0 0.003, were also applied here. Again, coming from those default settings that we picked. So let's go ahead and save this now as a template. If I come up here to the drop down for inspection and go to save as, rather than saving the project, which will include this partially ballooned PDF, we don't want to do that. We'll choose just the template to save just the settings. And when we do that, we get brought into the same folder where our other templates appear. And in here we can call this the diamond balloons and save it. And now we'll close this project. We don't care to save it because we don't know, we don't care what happens to that PDF. And now we'll open a whole new project. We'll go ahead and choose our new template from the drop down here. So here's our new diamond balloons option. We'll say OK. And we'll choose one of these PDFs here, a new empty one. And when we get brought in here, first of all, let's take a look at the options. If we take a look in here, the tolerances are all set to the values that we defined before. If we go to imaging and OCR, we see that the dimensions are set to Katia like we specified. And if we go into balloons, we see that all of the balloon settings are still carried over from before. So now if I just come into this new drawing and create a balloon, we are sure to get all of the settings that I specified before. And we can come in here and for example, this radius value here, if I select it, it also gets that predefined tolerance information from the settings that we defined. Now, of course, if we wanted to override all this stuff, we could, but uh, in the interest of showing you how to create one of these templates from scratch, that is how we would do it. So if you like tips like these, be sure to check back to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.